Hey guys, it's your girl Risa coming to you today with a haul video. Welcome to all my new subscribers, all my old family members. As y'all can hear, Sugarfoot is in the background. New watchers, welcome everybody. I'm going to go ahead and get started because your girl is winded, okay? Like I always am. So we went to Costco. I went to the meat house today and I went to Walmart. I did not go to Rose today, so you're not gonna see a large amount of meat, but I will show you why in just a few minutes. So, everything is all over the table. I don't have a section off, I don't think, but we'll see. All right, so we picked up some, um, these Outshine Fruit Bars in Peach. This is the first time I've seen this flavor, so Galen wanted these, and then we got some of the Bomb Pops in the Hawaiian Punch, and um, what's the other one? This one is that's old school right there. The banana fudge, yes. And then we got the original. And these are the Hawaiian punch. So we got three of those. Outshine. He got a phone call to come through. Sorry about that. He got some Uts chips, and he's already been eating those. We got some more collard greens. Some mustard greens and the turnips. We got a bag of the Checkers and Rallies Famous Fries, which I already have one in the refrigerator. Another bag of us. These are the Rippled Original Potato Chips. We have two bags of fries right here. Some Ghirardelli Triple Fudge Brownies. I have two of those. Some Honey Nut Cheerios. These are the Post Good Morning. And a box of Frosted Flakes. And then we have noodles. That's right, noodles. We have two boxes of the Raymond noodles, which we have the cup noodles already. I picked up four mangoes. So I have those in here. A bunch of bananas. Two cantaloupe. Some ranch dressing. Oh, let's go back this way. I picked up three bags of cheese again, triple cheddar, Italian style, and the Kobe and Monterey Jack. Picked up a bag of cut okra. Um, one, two, three, four, five ears of corn, four bell peppers, four boxes of cornbread, spaghetti noodles, I found in Walmart today that a lot of their prices have dropped on a lot of stuff, so I was pleasantly surprised at some things. Um, I don't remember the price of everything, but um, if y'all have any questions, just put it down below. So, we got the California blend, vegetables, the fake apple juice. We have three of those. One, two, and three. Some Louisiana hot sauce, the Texas Pete hot sauce, some toaster strudel, the apple. This is the 12 count. I have two heads of cabbage in this bag. We have a bottle of ketchup, and this is my favorite. Um, it's a dollar and eight cent. Um, some sweet relish, some spicy pickles. We have a big can of green beans, the, my husband's favorite dressing by Newman's, the Caesar, time out, the chunky salsa, I got some great value mayo, the eight count of Star Kiss tuna, this was $3.82 for the, or was it five something, it was one of them. <laughs> We got some cooked ham and some turkey breast. We have four cans of the diced tomatoes, three packs of bacon, some vegetable oil, two things of freeze pops, and my husband got him a 24 pack of Bud Light. Um, so from Costco, we tasted these peaches last week, y'all. When I tell you these things were delicious, 
they were delicious. Last week, they were almost $12. They were either $10.99 or $11.99. This week, they were $9.99. So I got two flats of those. Um, I think one flat, I'm going to take a few of them and cut them up, put it in Ziploc bags, and put it in the refrigerator for me to eat, just to be eating on. Um, because my teeth are so sensitive, I cannot bite in the cold items, you know, just right off. But when they cut up small, we're pretty good. Um, I got a bag of rice from Walmart. We got some OJ. I got a bag of sugar from Walmart. Some sausage. We got the French vanilla ice cream. Some pineapple bars, the outshine. I wanted the pineapple. Uh, for some reason, I wanted me some biscuits. So I got the honey butter biscuits by Pillsbury. From Costco, I picked up these bell peppers, the orange red bell peppers. Also from Costco, we picked up this bag. This is four pounds of shrimp. And you get between 13 and 15 shrimp in every pound. So, and these are the, um, what are they called? These are farm white shrimp. These are really big ones. I don't know if y'all can see how big that is. These molds are huge, okay? About longer, it's longer than my thumb, okay? So I don't know, um, if I, I don't think I told you guys, but I got a couple of dishes that I'm gonna be experimenting with. I've tried it once before, but I didn't do it anymore. So I went out and purchased some more items. I did not get the large bag of the Langostino lobster, but I did get this small pack. And we are gonna take Mia on a trip this weekend for her birthday. So when I get back and I see how much storage I have or where I can put stuff, then I'm gonna go and get some more. But I got this, it was $9.79. So we're gonna do like a lobster, a baked potato with lobster sauce on it. So I bought some white wine. And this is the Kirkland brand. I can't remember, I think it was $7.99. I got a stock, a bunch of celery. Um, I'm finna say Ashley. Mia and Janae like applesauce, so I got these. They were $1.96. From Costco, I picked up these onions. Y'all know I love the Valdez sweet onions. I can't eat them raw, but I like the way they flavor my food. And this was $6.99. I picked these up because we enjoyed the beef and broccoli the other night, so I got two of these. So, yeah, I'm gonna be making that. And we have two of the strawberries. These were a dollar and some change at Walmart today. And then we have the, um, these are Siebel, mm, Siebel, G money. <laughs> Sable seedless grapes. And these were a dollar and 42 cent. I think that is everything you guys. No, I'm telling a lie, okay? Last but not least, we went to the meat house. I haven't purchased this in a long time because it had gotten up to where it was like 70 something dollars. And I was like, okay, we're gonna see. So we prayed about that thing today. It was a little under 70 something dollars, which I was like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get it. But this is a 40 pound box of chicken. And you get between, what? I think she said 18 pieces of chicken in each pack. You get 18 pieces of chicken. I believe it's more than, more than that, tell you the truth. But this is one pack, and you get eight of these packs in this box. And it was $64 today. And so I picked that up so I don't have to buy any chicken because I want to use the breast. And the rest of it, you know, we could do the thighs I can use for a dish. So I got a little bit of everything going on in here. The only other thing I might need to get is my ground beef and neck bones and whatever else I can find. And I might wait until next week to get that. So, cause I'm trying not to do too much. I need to lose some weight. My stomach is bigger than my behind right about now. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. And then I did get, come here Mia. I got two things of eggs, but they're in the kitchen. Hand me those eggs right there. Last week, at Walmart, they were a dollar and eighty-eight cent, and this week they were a dollar and seventy-two cent. Just sit them up here. 
okay? They're the 18 count. Somebody on the, one of my videos told me they had found these for, I think, like 90-something cent. Child, you just let me find them for 90-something cent. A dollar and, I think it was, what, 172? It was either 172 or 142 today. And so I picked up two of these, and these are the extra-large eggs. I am ecstatic, okay? When I assess my refrigerator and see how much space I have, I'm going to go back and buy some more. I am. Because we go through one of these for breakfast for two days. If I cook breakfast two days in a row, I have already cooked one of these, okay? And then if I'm baking, all of that good stuff, making cornbread, whatever, potato salad. Potato salad, I can use eight eggs right off the bat. So, yeah, that'll be gone in no time. But that is my haul, you guys. Whew! Child, I'm winded. And cut. Thank you, buddy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I send you guys hugs, kisses, and many blessings. And continue to be encouraged and continue to trust God. Remember, I know we all struggle with self-control. But with self-control, it is a choice. Okay? It's a choice. And we all make choices. And I know it's hard sometimes. I'm not telling y'all it's not because it's hard for me. But I have learned and I have seen God have shown me yeah. when you use your self-control, there is a difference and God always keeps his word. He says vengeance is mine and vengeance is his. When we choose the right response to every situation, our action, our reaction determines the outcome to everything. So your reaction to something determines the outcome. So we talk about um, you know, how we can talk softly to somebody or we can come at them in a real angry type of way. You know, there's a difference if, in, in how you respond. There's a difference in how you respond. So using our self-control with our responses and um, the way that we greet people, no matter how we feel, y'all, we don't have to take it out on somebody else. That is our personal choice. This is where our self-control comes in at. We don't have to take it out on somebody else because somebody else hurt us. Because we are no better than the person that hurt us. We are the same as them when we do what they did to us. So we're going to be the bigger person, the better person. We're going to do what God has asked us to do because we want to see the blessing. We want to see how God work it out. It might not feel good, but he always works it out. He always works it out. I'm a living witness. It no, it don't feel good sometimes. And yes, we get into our flesh. We can sit back and we say, I should have said this and I should have said that. One thing for certain and two for sure, if, you, if it was meant for you to say it, you would have said it. Sometimes God will close your mouth. Have you ever opened your mouth and got ready to say something and you get strangled on your own spit? <laughs> or saliva? Or you bite your tongue? Come on now. Nothing just happens. He wants you to hush your face. And sometimes if we keep pushing the issue, like if that happens and you continue to push the issue about doing that, he lets go and let you go ahead. Now you got to get yourself back to the point. You're going to have to, you're going to have to work that out. You're going to, you're going to have to pray about it. You're going to have to repent and ask God to come and help you to right your wrong all the time, all the time. So with anything, self-control is a must. God has given us choices. We're waiting on God to come and just take some things away from us. But we have to learn how to let some things go. And that's hard for me. That's hard for me. How to let some things go. You know, we quick to say let go and let God. Sometimes that's easy and sometimes it's not. Not that we feel like we know better than God. But what do I do when you think you have let it go? What do I do, God? What do I do? That means to even he didn't say it wasn't it wasn't gonna come in your mind, but you gotta make up your mind when you're gonna let go and let God handle it. That means I'm not gonna keep pushing the issue about it. I'm not gonna keep trying to work it out. I'm gonna be still. He didn't say not to pray because he he tells us to pray without ceasing and to pray about everything. So when you let go and you let God, that means to continue to pray about it and continue to have faith the size of a mustard seed that it shall be done. If you trust him in any sort of way, 
You got to know somewhere deep down inside that, oh, he's going to work it out. And I think with us, our problem is we don't want to know. We want God to always say yes to what we want. But learning to surrender to his will, whether he takes something from us or not, it's not going to feel good. But know that anytime he closes the door, another one shall open. It might not be the door that you're looking forward to opening, but another one shall open. And sometimes God want to get us still by ourselves so that he can have our undivided attention. When we ask God, search me, give me a clean heart. Oh, he's going to do that. We have to be careful what we'd open our mouth and say, because he's going to do that. And down below, I want y'all to raise, just tell me, has God ever shown you some things about yourself that you didn't even know were there? And you're like, oh, I can't talk about nobody. He will show you, he will reveal things to you that he need to get rid of. Things that you need to be aware of and you got to ask God to help you repent and turn away from your wicked ways. Self-control is a must. All of these things are things that we struggle with on a daily basis. So I thank God today that he has given us a new day. He gave us a birthday. We have a new, we have a new day to be better than we were yesterday. A new you today. We can take on a new attitude, a new personality. We got to quit, stop talking about being fake and phony. It's not even about being fake and phony. You don't have to let people know that they got up under your skin. I choose to be happy. We're looking for man to make us happy. No, you got to choose to be happy in every situation in life. You got to make a choice that even though I don't feel good, I got to choose to be happy. I can't take it out on other people. God is not going to bless your mess. He's not going to bless your anger. So I'm going to leave this with you guys. I hope y'all understand where I'm coming from. I love you guys. Know that whatever you do today, I want you guys to hashtag I can because Jesus is. I will because Jesus did. I will because Jesus did. He died on the cross. I can. Okay? Because he is. He is king of king and lord of lords. He is the alpha and the omega. He has the first and last. He is our everything. Thank y'all so much for watching. Hugs, kisses, and many blessings. <laughs> hey, y'all. It's little old me, way down there. Mm-hmm. Bye, sugar.